Hi. How are you? Nice. You got the window seat. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Good light. Nice view. There's some fruit. It's a little bit Might distracting, though. Yeah. I how nice San Diego is because you don't see it. I know. Fun. I know. <laughs> it's a waste of a beautiful city. I talked to an interviewer today and I said, Yeah, I have a good comedy. He's like, I've been in my hotel room for two days <laughs> just trying to get stories out. I was like, It's true, you're so close and yet you've got, we all have work to do. Yeah, exactly. It's a working yeah. vacation. Exactly, exactly. So what do you want to know? Huh? I'm glad the weather's good. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather for the next yeah. 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 It's a great interview. Talk about the weather. Yeah, roll one. Yeah, How about, about that weather? weather. Yeah, we... <laughs> well, I asked the last table, I'll ask this one as well. Um, with all the action figures and toys that get to be used on Robot Chicken, is there anything that makes it into your personal collection or anything that you keep for yourself at home? I don't think I own any Robot Chicken props. Oh, no, that's... I, I have the... Uh, um, in season one, um, we needed a Britney Spears monster <laughs> with uh, whose hands and feet were different pop stars, and I donated this 14-inch uh, doll of the mummy from the Mummy Ride at Universal Studios to like you can use this to make the monster out of, and then they gave it back to me, and it had the Britney head, and so I have that somewhere back there. Packed away. It's on a shelf. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. it's on a shelf like a horrifying exactly. In the guest room over the bed. Yeah. One of my hanging over the bed. One of my first sketches was uh, a Carmen San Diego sketch because I used to host that show. So they had him build a doll of me. Mm -hmm. So now I and they had two of them. So I I took one and I have one at home on my bed. Yes. <laughs> over your guest bed. Over my guest bed. That's definitely a life goal to get the toy made of you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Is there anything you're gonna collect like on the floor while you're at Comic Con? I keep looking for this. I, I saw it online, this Stan Lee doll. Oh, I saw it. Oh, yeah. Did you see where? Because I couldn't remember who was making it. But it was supposed to be like 300 bucks, but it looked it looked like, um, who's the one who did like the, who's the guys who do like the Christopher Reeve Superman? Like, like, oh, hot, hot Toys. It looked like Hot Toys, because it was so, it looked so much like him that I thought, that'd be cool to have. So I don't know, I'm going to check that out. Okay. Yeah. Anything you're looking for? Well, I've already got uh, my Dire Wolf pups from uh, uh, Factory Entertainment, who also had the Talking George R.R. R. Martin. Saw so that, yeah. Uh, and I got that. I got my Westeros map throw pillow covers. <laughs> um, Just see our homes. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't um, uh, looked at them yet, but Seth got me um, the Tina Fey, Amy Poehler TV. Ah, uh, that's great. I'm looking forward to opening those. Um, and uh, Reaction has the uh, I love Flash and Arrow. Oh, uh, three and three quarters. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be into those. Those are great. Um, are we going to see the humping robot back this season? The season? Yes, he always shows up yeah. somewhere. Yeah. He's getting less and less interesting to us as time goes on. <laughs> He's kind of a one note one guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's still funny. Yeah. But so it's a good callback. Yeah, he's good. To, he's like family. You, you put him in your photos from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> But do ideas sort of like generate from like the toy lines? Like you want to use a certain toy, or they generate outside of the item, like whatever your props are, and then you make the props for the show. Or what, what do you think happens more often? I think it starts with the comedy first. Yeah, because it's harder to write. I mean, the public department would disagree. I know. It's harder to write the comedy than to make the puppet. It's not. But as writers, that's all I. Care. That's all we know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So uh, we would never retroactively or retrofit our scripts to fit puppets that we already own. Okay. It feels like cheating in a way. I know. But we definitely have opinions as to what... Sometimes when the script is done and it goes through the process and it finally gets in and, and then you change hats and you think production, you're like, oh, well, I don't. I totally want it to be this doll or yeah. this puppet, you know. And then it comes into play. But when you're writing it, I think it's whatever you find funny. Okay. You guys are distracted by the view. I was trying to find that action figure for you and I could. Oh, yeah, all right. Thank you. I know it's not entertainment art, so you can skip entertainment All right, good. I know they good don't to know. know. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. But, uh, uh, Comic Con app has the exclusive. Oh, do they? But it doesn't have all of them. It just like featured exclusive.
Something, something like that, because I was looking for the 66 Batgirl figure, and it was just on the app. Non-exclusive exclusives. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Maybe right. we'll find it for you. Yeah. There's a lot of Stan Lee action figures out there in the world. That's true. I want this one. Yeah. <laughs> but you're a good group to go to. Do you also happen to know when our special airs? Because we can't figure oh, it out. Oh, actually, <laughs> I have been told it's October. It's October. October, October, October is what I'm October what? Just October. Just okay. October. Okay. Just October. Just all right. Whole month of October. October. That's all, all of October. Yeah. Yeah. Adult yeah. Swim will run at 24-7. Seven. Seven. It's like the John Stewart Marathon. 31 days. Yeah. Yeah. But it's actually the same one. Yeah. Every classic rock station does Rocktober. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or Rocktoberfest. Right. Where well, they're going to play the same music they always play because yeah. classic rock. It's yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And now they feel fast. Yeah. So what can, you, what can you tell us about the, the war between Colonel Sanders and Robot Chicken? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, the, I'm not sure if all three uh, parts have uh, come out yet. Is, uh, have you been able to see the whole adventure? No. Uh, so I don't want to give it away. Way, but there is a very uh, special force at work drawing these disparate uh, universes together with uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and the, the uh, Robot Chicken. <laughs> you might have, you might guess what they have. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Secret, secret herbs and spices. Uh, uh, but uh, they have been a great uh, partner, uh, KFC, and you should all buy yourself a bucket. <laughs> the Colonel treat finest. yourself. Yeah. Treat yourself. <laughs> we should, if, if we have a uh, premiere of the DC Comics special, we should all just have rope and Kentucky Fried Chicken. They should cater it. They should. See, it all happened here. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, but the special is going to be exciting. I think we're going to start the season with the special. And, um, you know, I was just being able to go to different universes in this and that special was just kind of so fun for us yeah. in a way because, you know, we had two specials and we mined the gold as much as we could there. And then it was like, in a very organic way, this whole scenario kind of escalates. This romance escalates into a point where now we're including like every universe you know and some you don't. Well, without spoiling anything, is there anything specific that you're looking forward to or any part you like looking on the most? Um, well, without spoiling anything, again, I think it builds nicely. And okay. at the end is this resolution that I, I found very gratifying. With spoiling it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If you'd like me to spoil it. Anything specific. Yeah. Anything really that you probably shouldn't tell us, but please do. Absolutely. The, uh, we, we, it might, this might be my favorite sketch. It just occurred to me now. Um, every season, we bring in this writer, Hugh Davidson, who's, of course, now um, doing Mike Tyson mystery. Uh, and he will write these bonkers <laughs> sketches that we think would not possibly get in the show. Because they're about nine pages long. Yeah. And this time he wrote... He, and he doesn't know superheroes real well. And so he came up with this sketch, like the last Superman movie he saw, I think, was the 1978 Yeah, movie. I think you're right. And so he's like... Uh, he wanted to know what if uh, jor and his wife, is it Lana or Lara? I always forget. Lara. 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 Or the R. Uh, Lana Lang. Right. What if they were actually in the middle of a custody battle, and that's why jor launched the baby into space, <laughs> so mom couldn't have him. And so they've hired a private detective to find uh, kal L and he comes to Earth, and he's talking to Mom Hawkins and he's like, yeah, Krypton it's never exploded. Uh, in fact, your father went crazy. <laughs> uh, and it's a, yeah. the, it's a, just the matter-of-factness of this investigator as he's going through his notes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really great. It's really great. Oh. We're gonna take you back home now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's what makes I think what makes the special and the season so great is we do have a room of very distinct personalities. Mm -hmm. um, some no properties like the back of their hand. Others don't even know what we're talking about. So, but their comedy comes from a different perspective, you know. And I think it, I think that's what keeps it fresh all these years too, is because you don't have just the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the weirdest reaction you've had from someone who was like depicted in the show? I might have just said Stevie Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. Uh, we did a sketch where he was on uh, 
Jim Carrey, wasn't he? No, it was Double Dare. Oh, De- oh, yeah, 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 you're right. And he was partnered with Helen Keller. And- yeah. <laughs> Which, so it's ridiculous on its face, because she's long dead. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's what's ridiculous. Your Honor. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, we got a letter from Stevie's uh, rep, and he's like, Stevie saw the sketch, he's very upset. Um, and Seth's response was, how could he see the sketch? A, he probably did not see the sketch. B, this is not coming from Stevie, this is coming from people. Stevie's exactly. Stevie's probably not even aware that the thing exists. Um, so, but that was one of the rare cases where someone was actually had an issue. Yeah. Huh. Um, early on, we were doing a sketch, our, one of our first or second Lindsay Lohan sketch. And we've done about 12 of them. But it was very, we wanted her to be fighting other teen starlets, and it was actually really hard to get any of them to agree to do their own voices in a sketch <laughs> yeah. making fun of Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. They felt like she was. Traitor. Yeah. They didn't want to. Yeah. They'd end up in a movie with her the following year. Yeah, yeah exactly. Answer any tough questions. What I like, though, is the, the 180 of the old, first company to complain to us was Archie. Right. And then to, enough time has passed that Mr. Tom Root here was actually asked to write an Archie. Yeah, I, I wrote Jughead 200, but in exchange I wanted them to free up the Archie sketch they had a cease and desist letter again. <laughs> so, and by then the regime had changed. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so they were like great. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank you yeah. guys. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. That letter will make the would make a Stevie Wonder truthers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what the Stevie Wonder truthers by the way? Did you guys know? I'm trying to make a video for the the, the YouTube channel for the end plate. And everyone always says like oh hey, didn't see you there. Hey, why don't you subscribe down here? Or click on this video to see more videos, you know? So I'm trying to make a really generic, ridiculous one. Mm-hmm.